I was very moved by the speech from the Honourable Member from Sudbury, and I'm interested to know as he speaks about pharmaceutical drugs and their price, if the official opposition has looked at the efficacy and the inadequacies of registration for prescription drugs. Uh, recently was drawn to my attention by a, a very good academic outfit called the Therapeutics Institute that in British Columbia that 150,000 North Americans die every year using prescription drugs as prescribed. That we're not using enough of an evidence-based approach. Concerned about seniors over-medicated. And I wonder if the Honourable Member has a view on this. The Honourable Member for Sudbury. Um, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I'd like to uh, thank the Honourable Member for her question. Um, in relation to the specifics, I think, you know, I would best to defer that to, my, uh, to the critic uh, uh, for uh, health in our party. But in relation to over-medication of seniors and, and some of the problems that we're seeing when it relates to seniors, I believe one of our colleagues from the Conservative uh, bench wrote a book about the subject, but I also had the opportunity of working in the field uh, uh, of uh, supporting individuals with uh, developmental handicaps who are also seniors. Uh, and what we've seen many instances is the over-medication. And the over-medication results in them going to the hospital. And I just spoke earlier, Mr. Speaker, about those costs and the implementation that those costs have on our health care system. If we actually had a national pharma care program, those dollars could be saved to ensure that we make sure that seniors have more money in their pocket because that's the motion that we're speaking to today. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Questions and comments?